Yo, what is happening? I'm on my way to the charity football match I'm playing today. Red card for suicide in association with Mysterious Mind. So what's this charity for? This charity is for families affected by suicide. It's a great cause. There's going to be some good guys there as well. Um, the likes of the whole boy, Cal the Dragon's there. I've only ever played, this is only my second ever charity match. I played one before. Uh, Cal the Dragon was there. And that fella gets absolute pelters. I don't know how he does it, to be honest. It's horrible to see, to be honest. Um, there's for, kids like throwing pints at him and stuff. So he's back. Let's see if that's any different today. Um, yeah, a few other creators that you'll know, probably. Aaron Hunt's there, I think. Um, but yeah, it's at Barton Town FC. So it's, you know, just a trip across the bridge for me, to be honest. Uh, nice, easy home fixture, effectively. They've put me down as a defender. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Did I not mask on that trick at the Aviva? They're taking a piss. So, no, I will be um, putting that right immediately as soon as I get there. Here we go. This is the most important stop of the lot. I need to get my fluids on board. Starting off with a big water. That's an absolute standard. That's a given for football. What do I go for next day here, you say? Now, I've been drinking this a lot, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Some sort of healthy energy drink, followed by just a classic, a raspberry lucasade. And there they are in all their glory. They'll be getting supped. It's a hot day though, so I'm gonna try and, try and? I am gonna try and keep my fluids on board. Look at that, cold. So I don't cramp up because I am a, I'm prone to a bit of cramp, me. I've got uh, little calves and a very top heavy body, as you can see. So yeah, looking forward to it. I will uh, touch base later on. So today is Sunday the 4th of August and unfortunately it's the day after the riots which took place in Hull and other parts of the country. Um, I've done a video on it so I won't even bother going into it in here. It's tough, it was horrible to watch actually yesterday. Um, really horrible to watch. The scenes were mad. Um, I've not seen anything like it actually in my whole 31 years of existence. Um, so yeah, I, there was a bit of like worry whether the game would be on with like um, buses and trains and stuff like that. But luckily the game's actually not in Hull. It's just like just outside of Hull really. So it's still on. But sad day for anyone who sort of lives in Hull. Um, and across the country really. Because it's going on everywhere and it's absolutely insane. Um, it's not nice to see. It's not nice to see. But let's uh, let's go and play a game of footy. Kick a bag of air about. Make ourselves feel better. Let's forget. Let's escape for a minute shall we? and do it for a good cause. Now, unfortunately, I've left the fucking SD card for my vlogging camera at home. So I am predominantly on iPhone today. So if the quality is not as good, I don't know, just blame the iPhone. Blame Apple, give them a ring and say, listen, what the fuck is going on at your end? Because uh, Joe is actually a skilled videographer and that shouldn't be happening. Here we go, just coming up to the Humber Bridge. Now you can actually go straight through and just pay online, but I always forget and end up having to pay a fucking fortune. So we will be doing it old school. We're going through the barriers, card payments only. Hey mate, I didn't realise in fucking wacky races. Jesus, man. And there she is, folks, in all her glory. Are we in San Francisco or are we in Hull? It's the Humber Bridge, alright? A little fun fact, I used to work across the bridge, so I had to do this commute every single day. Took the fucking piss. It was nice on sunrise and sunset though, but half the time it's just cloudy and grey. Here we go, close now. Barton upon Humber. I mean, I should actually... I've been to this stadium numerous times, but I know for a fact I'm going to get lost because my sense of direction is fucking dog shit. These weak arms are heavy, vomit on his sweater already, mom's spaghetti. He's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. Just like I'm going to drop an that trick today. <laughs> I honestly think I've got five minutes in me. Uh, it says we're here. Right, apparently we're here. Let's see, a lot of cars here. Um, I hope I can get a fucking car park space. I have been promised one. Where the fuck do you, how the fuck do you get in? I've literally been so many times as well.
Yeah, where do I park? If you just pass behind this green colored car, because yeah. he's one of the helpers, so he's not going nowhere. All right, Sam. <laughs> nice one, cheers. Here we go, at the ground, in the changing room, and I'll tell you something, I will never get bored of seeing my name, Joey Jerks, number four, hung up on a peg. Oh, didn't step on the badge. Ultimate respect move from me. That's 100 lad points. Thank you very much. Uh, good luck. Message to the boys. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Cinematic. He's tying his boots up. Look at them for a pair of boots. They are gorgeous, aren't they? Double knock so they don't come loose. I'm the opposite, mate, to be honest. I'm like, if now, it... fun fact. I've got to use a lot of tape because my calves are non-existent and my shin pads are just fly around the place. So here we have it, first look at the pitch wait. and I'll tell you oh, something, it is a carpet. Uh, I would have said I can't wait to score a screamer on there, but in reality I'm doing this voiceover post-match, I get fun. nowhere fucking near, that's the truth. Uh, the spoiler alert, sorry guys. Uh, this is the closest I get actually, straight, straight to the keeper. keeper, just having a little warm up. Here we go, Ivan Tony. camera can't see me, it's just got a trust. Now is this a bad pen or just an unbelievable save by JDB <laughs> Football, you tell me, Mate, the GoPro King. Pen. The lads have started to make their way onto the pitch. We've got Cal the Dragon in goal. We've got the whole boy there. Italian striker looking deadly. And there he is. Look at that. Taking it in. Breathe it in, son. Enjoy it. A few of you might be thinking, why number four? It's the number I played with all the way through my youth career at Sunday League and Saturday League level. Kickoff is literally minutes away now. So we've headed out to the field for a proper warm up. Everyone seems to be here now. If you look close at that security, Chris, Ren, Tull. And I tell you something, I'm liking what I see in training. We're taking care of the ball. We're passing it crisply with purpose. There's a few decent lackers on the team. <laughs> or did I speak too soon? It's a sign of things to come. And here we go, just shaking hands. Again, it's for a great cause, great occasion. But we are out for blood. We want to win. Do we? I don't know. Watch the video, mate. You tell me. This is a shot of me pleading with Ren to say, listen, if you come to me, it's got to be to feet. I'm going over the top to you, but for me, it has to be feet. It says I'm playing left back there, but I am most certainly not. I'm playing right wing, can you believe? Uh, I was initially left wing, but Ren wanted to do a little switch, which suits me down to the ground. I like cutting in. I might like Bernardo Silva. Just 15 stone. Now, when I played with Diego Fall and he said, just make sure your first pass is good. And look at that. A little shift of weight onto the left foot and a pass with purpose. Here's my second boy. I'll be honest, this was a cross to the back post. It looks like I've gone for goal. It's not a bad effort. It's a little sighter. Now, this for me is the highlight of the match for myself. Look at this. I said I was like Bernardo Silva. First touch, boom, into feet. Commit that man. Thanks for coming. Get me a knockdog on the way back, would you? And a slide through ball to the Italian striker. And here we are, what a ball by Ren, absolutely phenomenal and a great finish on the second time of asking by the Italian striker, he's got off to an absolute flyer, however it's short lived as they go to the end and score. Here we go Joey, what have you got here, the ball's about to bounce to you, look at this, a little shift across. Now this, I, I attempted a long range pass there and I absolutely bollocked it up, listen there's no airs and graces with me, or did I just lure him into a full sense of security to spring a counter? Maybe I did. Maybe I did because if I don't pass that ball, does this happen? Does the Italian striker get a little little odd finish? Not gonna lie, this is disaster for us. So pulling his quad and having to go off injured, he looks in pain. He was in pain. Hopefully, it's not too much of a recovery for the fella. Still want me to 
the Italian striker on pens for his hat-trick. Who was your right? Thanks for coming. Now I always believe you can tell a man's quality from if he wants it in a tight area with a man on his back. I'm screaming for the ball there. Yes, give it in here. I've got a man on my back, but look at that. First time a little layoff to Ren. Unreal. Ball for them. I've already lost camp. And here we go with about 35 minutes on the clock. Joe is having his first rest of the day. Long overdue actually because I was knackered. But then disaster happens. Joe has been off the pitch a matter of moments before. And you've got to take your hats off. That's a great finish to be honest with. I love a little web against Calder Dragon. But then seconds later once more he's in again. He's in again. It's almost a carbon copy. It's a great finish yet again. Oh not so fair. Don't tell me it's another one. Not another one. That's a good header. In fairness, he's massive, but it's a great header. That's it, Aaron Hunt, the gaffer, he's seen enough. He's making wholesale changes. Three players back on, one of which is your boy, Joey Jerks. And he's straight back into the action. The ball's about to break to me here. Hey! Hey! Get him off, referee! You bottleless little get Campbell! That's an absolute disgrace! And the second prize is a mystery prize, but no more. 109 ticket, Oh, fucking hell! Half time and it's a cricket score. I think it's 6-3, I'm not too sure. Either way, I'll tell you something, we were deflated. <laughs> Second half starts, how the first one ended. Joey trying a piece of skill, it looks laboured, I'm not going to lie, but what about that? Hey, referee is getting targeted. It's like a prime Eden Hazard. As the second half wore on, I sort of drifted more into the central spot. That's where I feel more comfortable in the number 10. A little free roll. You can see me now. I'm just waiting for something to drop. And boy, does it drop perfectly to my left foot. That first touch is unbelievable. And then a little pass out to my left, which leads to the goal. This is a better angle from JDB Football. Jimmy! Yes! This was it. My opportunity. A shot on goal. In my head, that looked class. Turns out it was absolute bollocks. It was a pass back. We did, however, get a corner from it, and I'm about to whip one in. Is it a good one? It's a good ball in. It's a good delivery. Get on the end of it. I'll give you something to attack there. Ball's come back out to me. I hit this first time. I'm just out of shot, but I hit it first time. I'm wanting him to challenge the keeper. Get into him. This is a little bit laboured from the whole boy, but guess what? It doesn't matter. We're in a charity match. We've all been there. Don't worry about it. Move on. We get a pen and tuck it away down the other end. And here we go, look at Ren there, finding a lovely ball again. He's, he's got that in the locker, hasn't he? And a good finish from Peasy there. Come on, fellas, just put us out of our misery, would you? Blow up, referee. Oh, not before they score another screamer. Did that sit in the stanchion? I think it did. That's it, full time. I believe it was 12-7. It's a cricket score. I am absolutely knackered. I can barely walk. That's the most minutes I've played in ages. Just shaking hands with a the gaffer there. He said you were the best player on the pitch by an absolute one side. Well done, mate. I didn't actually say that. How many was it named? I think it was like 12. 12? Fuck. What's that? 12, 12 what? What was the score? I think I lost count the score. No idea. Yeah. Lose the spell. Lose the spell. And as is customary with a lot of these events, we go and give our shirts out to the kids who are there supporting. They bloody love it. Right, I'm going to throw mine up, alright? Oh. Alright, alright, alright. See you later, fellas. Lovely to see you. See you later, mate. Just saying bye to Josh Fusion and the whole boy there. Top, top fellas. Um, unfortunately, we got battered. 12-7, <laughs> I think the game was. I mean, they, they clearly played together a little bit and they had some good players. There's no getting away from that. Um, yeah, it was a good run out. I thought I would get less minutes. I'm absolutely fucked, quite frankly. I will probably cramp up in the car on the way home. Yeah, obviously, great occasion, great cause. Heading back to Hull now, absolutely shattered. Legs in tatters. Um, did I do anything good? Probably not. Probably not. We will see on the video when I release it. Um, there was a live stream, so I'll check, check the footage. I think I played one nice pass, maybe. That's about it. Um, but yeah, some sound geezers there, to be fair. 
really good guys there. Um, it's a shame when you do these charity games because you meet these guys, you're like, wow, you're a legend, you're, you're sound as fuck. And then you don't really see them that much again. It's, uh, it's bizarre until the next charity game. So yeah, I'm just um, thankful for the opportunity and hopefully, hopefully plenty more to come. Hopefully plenty more to come. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Umber Bridge is just about to come into sight. Jesus Christ, the windscreen needs a little wipe. Should we give it a little? Let's give it a little mist up, shall we? Go on, mix it right up there. Um, and there it is, the Humber Bridge in all the glory. Heading back to the right side of the bridge now, some might say. Uh, just kidding, I don't want to cause any offence to him. What a shot that is, that's cinematic. That is cinematic. Christ alive. So yeah, uh, game was disappointing in terms of result, but obviously for a great cause. There were a lot of kids there, there was all fucking buzzing to be fair, seeing like the favorite YouTubers, TikTokers and whatever. Um, no, it was really, really fun. Truthfully, I don't know how a few lads do it. They got hours to head home on the train, bus or car, whatever. Um, but that's why they do it. They're doing it for charity. That's why, they love it. Um, standout players today in terms of football ability, it has to be the Italian striker. He scored, I think he scored three or four. Uh, Ren was unbelievable as well, playmaker. Uh, Joe Jokes, absolutely phenomenal, some might say. Um, if Joe Jokes was fit, he'd probably be the best player in the world. I was initially playing left wing, but then Ren said to me, listen, can we swap up there, cutting in on the right? I said, that's music to my ears, Ren, because I love cutting in from the left. I like Bernardo Silva. Um, you know, didn't work out in the end, didn't get nowhere near goal, really. I did have one shot on goal, um, the keeper made a good save. Well, we'll see in the video whether it was a good save or not. Here we go, just going through the old payment window right now. Yeah, there she is, that's all she wrote. Another charity game in the books. This time we took the L, uh, to be fair, the first time I took the L, I think. Um, I ain't actually won one, maybe I'm a curse. But don't, don't let that stop you inviting me, because I love it, I do love it. Um, yeah, hopefully I've got some decent clips from the game, from the stream that I can put into this video. Otherwise, it's just going to be me in the car chatting. Last thought from me, I'm knackered. That's the most minutes I've played in years. Looking forward to getting a little bath and a nice chill out. Couple of pints on the sofa watching the Olympics. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. Ta-ra.